Lately, my cats seem extra bored, so I thought it would be fun to make some catnip bubbles for them and see what they think. I had a cat many years ago who absolutely loved them, so I'm hoping my current cats will too. My theory is since they both love chasing bugs and they both love catnip, they should enjoy chasing catnip bubbles, right? Let's find out. Here's what I'm using to make catnip bubbles that are clean, non-toxic, and pet safe. Unscented Castile soap, water, and organic catnip. You'll also want a leak-proof bottle or container for storing the bubbles, and you'll need a bubble wand. First, I'm boiling water to make catnip tea, and while I'm waiting for the water to get hot, I'm making a tea bag with cheesecloth. I do have a metal loose-leaf tea steeper, but it's in storage over 2,000 miles away, and I happen to have cheesecloth on hand, so this will do. I let my tea bag steep in a mug of hot water for about an hour because I'm thinking maybe it will make the tea stronger. If you're pressed for time, the usual five to seven minutes should do, or just wait until the tea cools off. Now that the tea is cool, I'm mixing equal parts Castile soap and catnip tea. If you don't have any catnip, you can totally do this with plain water. I really don't know if the catnip makes a difference, to be honest. If your cat already likes to chase things, I'm sure it will be happy chasing unscented bubbles too. Okay, it's quite obvious Phoenix has zero cares. I'll try again later when he's feeling more frisky. My other cat is sleeping, so I don't want to bother her. Hopefully your cat will enjoy catnip bubbles more than mine. You'll have to let me know how that goes below in the comments. I assume because you're watching this, you have cats, and if that's true, you'll have to check out my cat playlist. I have other videos that you might enjoy. If you liked this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, and if you want to get notified of my next video upload, make sure that you subscribe.